Salsa. Salsa verde. The joke is that it's regular salsa, but then it's salsa verde when I'm there because my last name is Green. Because my, my last name is Green. And so I, it would be verde if I'm next to the salsa. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Coco's Create. I'm Coleman. I'm here at Emily's apartment. Feeling good, feeling fresh. Uh, having a lovely day. Having a lovely day. Um, so yeah, I've been busy weekend, super busy, but uh, here to film Coco's now. Eat some food for you. I'm here for you to see me eat my food. Um, so today I swung by Taco Bell um, and I got a Salsa Verde burrito, a grilled chicken Salsa Verde burrito. Now this is the first time, they might have done something with it, you know, in the past at some point, but this is the first time that I have seen like a a true, um, like Salsa Verde item at Taco Bell. I feel like, I feel like they don't usually, they usually do like a red sauce, um, but this, I mean, it's supposed to be a green sauce. I mean, the outside just looks like a burrito. It's grilled, it's a tortilla, but we gotta get to the inside. Um, but yeah, so this is, uh, straight up two bucks. Two bucks on the Taco Bell menu. Um, so it's super cheap, um, Grilled chicken, rice, salsa verde, uh, probably some other stuff that we'll find out when I munch into this thing. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited enough. I, I'm interested in what their salsa verde is like. Um, I feel like every place kind of has different uh, salsa verde. I've said that too many times in such a short amount of time for the video. Um, so. You know, maybe, maybe we'll change that up. Maybe we'll say green sauce instead. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. I mean, I'm going to start. I'm hungry. So I'm just going to start feasting. So, uh, you know, without, without further ado, cheers. Mmm. Okay, there is also cheese. Mmm, very cheesy, actually. I think some sour cream in there. Here's what our cross section looks like. I tasted salsa verde, but I don't really see any green in there. Um, I don't see any green. I don't see any verde. Uh, but I mean, hey, we're gonna keep munching, and I, I can definitely taste like a, a traditional kind of green sauce there. Uh, I just don't see it anywhere, which is interesting. But uh, but you know what? Let's just keep munching. So uh, cheers again. Cheers again. Mm. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see a little bit of the greenness there. Um, it's hiding. It's hiding. It tastes really good, though. Um, mm. Oh, there we go. There we go on that angle right there. That's some green sauce. Um, I think it tastes really good. I think the uh, grilled chicken is really nice. A lot of the time, talk about those like shredded chicken, but this is grilled chicken, and I like that. Um, I, I think it's like I think it's just nicer to have grilled chicken over shredded chicken, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's I mean it's simple. It's just sauce, tortilla, cheese, uh, some rice, and some grilled chicken. But I mean it's working. It's working for me. The sauce is really nice. I, I'm a sucker for salsa verde, so. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah. I gotta say, I mean, I'm gonna keep eating this, um, because I've only got a little bit left. I might as well finish it up before I, you know, give the overall rating and everything. But so far, you've done well with this one, Taco Bell. They actually, they also have a, um, a creamy chipotle, or it might be avocado ranch, um, grilled chicken burrito. Um, so they're bringing in some grilled chicken here, um, which is always good, always nice. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was debating between getting this one and that one, but I figured the salsa verde was really unique with this one. Um, so that's why I went for the salsa verde grilled chicken burrito. So yeah, I, I'm liking this though. I gotta say, I'm gonna keep munching. Mm. 
that was a good bite of some green sauce there. That was a good bite. Um, I feel like it's kind of been slacking at the end here. You can see like that rice, like that doesn't look very like sauced up, but like over here you can see kind of the effect of the sauce on it. Um, but I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm tasting. I got a, a squirt of sour cream on my finger. Just like exploded perfectly out of the back there. All gone. No more sour cream on my finger. Um, but yeah, I do, I do think that the sauce is a little lackluster at the end here. But um, but I, I think it's still nice. I think it still tastes good. Uh, I don't know. Speaking of, you can see it. I got more sour cream on my hand. Um, there's like a little sour cream pocket in there. It keeps just poking out. Um, last week, uh, I'd done that Sonic grilled cheese steak and bacon thing, and I was talking about how that's, they've been releasing, like, new items all summer, but they're basically just the same thing. And Taco Bell is infamous for that. Like, that is what they're known for, is having, like, new menu items that are just the same three ingredients. And this kind of is. It's just, I mean, it's the same thing as any other burrito. But... They got that new ingredient. They got the salsa verde. And so that's what I like here. Uh, that's what I like to see is that they are actually adding in something new. It's not just a different combination of potato, sauce, rice, you know, queso, something like that. Um, so I do like it. And I mean, it's Taco Bell, you know, like you can you can go wrong if they make your food poorly. But I mean, it's it's not going to be that bad. So uh, so, yeah, last little bite here. Munch that whole thing. Just throw it in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sorry if I seem low energy yesterday. Not to date the video. Not to tell you that I'm recording on a Monday uh, and uploading on a Monday. But yesterday I was at the uh, Chevron uh, Marathon slash Aramco Half Marathon. And man... We were cheering on, I was not running, for the record, I, I want to make that clear. But I, I was cheering on uh, runners for my, my run group, Champions Running Association. Uh, shout out, shout out, check them out. If you're looking to run and you're in the area, you know, check them out. Uh, but uh, I was cheering people on, so like my voice got destroyed. It's not too bad right now, it's kind of recovered a little bit, but I think you can hear it. Um, and that was just, even just watching the marathon was exhausting, so... You know, people people were running that thing. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, hmm. If I had to give this item a rating on a scale of 1 to 10... I mean, it's good. I think they could have done with a little bit more green sauce in there. Um, but I do think that the green sauce is a nice, welcome addition. And I, I think overall I'm pretty happy that I uh, tried out that item. So I'd give this like a... I'd give it like a... Like a 7.9 out of 10. I think it was pretty solid, uh, but it didn't really get me all the way there. Again, as you got to the end, that green sauce kind of went away. It just, this, the salsa verde, it should have been spread better. Um, and I guess that's more of a, you know, it's going to be different every time you order it. Um, just based on how it's made at that Taco Bell. But I think they could have done a little bit better with that. Uh, but still, not too bad. Um, I appreciate I appreciate them trying something new here with the with the green sauce. So yeah, uh, that's just that's just my humble opinion. You know, try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Um, and you know, uh, make sure Ooh, I, I went into that all weird. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to, I gotta, I gotta get back on script. That's pretty much all I have to say. So if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you didn't like this video, it's okay to drop that dislike. Uh, but let me know what you didn't like about it. If you're like, Coleman, we want to see green sauce. Then I'll say, yeah, I wanted to see green sauce too. But I wasn't able to. Um, but yeah, no, just let me know uh, what I can do better uh, for you so I can make these videos better for you. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of whenever I post, whatever it is, be the first one there. All that good stuff. Make sure you ring that little dinger bell.
just like that. And YouTube will send you a post with whatever I post, whatever it is, you'll be the first one there, all that good stuff. Um, if you look in the uh, description, you'll find links to the Cocos Create Instagram, Cocos Create Twitter, and Cocos Create TikTok. Uh, we're posting all sorts of little updates, little, little extras, little shorts, stuff like that. Uh, so make sure you check those out for a little bit extra Cocos content. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!